So on number one, what we have is we have our equation. So it's y, y equals mx plus b. So I graphed my y-intercept, negative 100. My slope is 3. Well, that's the same as going up 99 and over 33. And so that's what I did, is I went up 99 over 33, and I put a point there. And then I drew my line. Then what I had to do is I had to decide if I was to put this in a graphing calculator, what would be a good viewing window. And so I thought since I'm already going to come down 110 in order to catch this point plus a little bit more, and I might as well go up that same distance. So I thought I'd go up to 110. Then I thought, well, if I'm going all the way up to 110, halfway would be about 33 or 35 even. And so if I doubled 35, I'd get 70. And so I put the 70 over here as my x maximum. Then my x minimum, I really didn't need to see much further than the left over here. And so I just went over here to negative 10 and put my x minimum at negative 10. So I ended up with an x minimum, negative 10, x maximum of 70, y minimum, negative 110, y maximum of 110. Then over here on this one, we, I just went through and I graphed it using intercepts. So when x was 0, y was 15 sevenths, and so I put a point there. And then when y was 0, x would be 3, and I put a point there. Through any two points, there can only be one line. I drew my line. And so I looked at it and I thought, well, you know, I'm only going over here about 3 and over here about 3. So 5, 5, 5, negative 5. And I thought, well, that would be a really good window. Now, your numbers don't have to match mine. That You know, you have to, you know, I just chose mine because that's the way my brain thinks. You could have chose anything else. The main thing you want to see is you want to see your X and Y intercepts and kind of an area beyond them a little bit. So... That's why I chose those two. Okay, over here on this one, problem number three. So what I had to do is I made a mistake, and I chose my variables before I looked at the graph. So I just changed this to being x. I wrote x is lawns, y is babysitting, set up all my problems. Then I looked over at the graph and realized I made a mistake. So then I just decided to change this to x or lawns to x and babysitting wise and then I graphed my two lines using intercepts again and here's my two lines and so this one was less than 12 so I had to shade below the line and this one here was greater than a hundred so I had to shade the other way around no that was right so this was greater than a hundred this is less than 12 and so therefore I ended up with this feasibility region. And you could pick out any points you wanted. I thought it would just be fun, well, what if she um, spent half of her time mowing lawns, half of her time babysitting, could she make enough money? Yes. And then I thought, well, if she came up here and she just um, babysat the entire 12 hours, that would help her make the most amount of money and only work 12 hours. So... Those are the two points I used, but any points to inside here would have made the two inequalities true. Okay, for number four, what I did is they were set up, and I could see that if I solve this by elimination, if I could make this x a negative 3x, 3x plus negative 3x would be 0x, and I would have eliminated my x's. And so that's what I did, is I times this by negative 3. But in algebra, everything's fair, so if I times this by three, negative 3, I have to times all the 3 terms by negative 3, which really worked out really nice when I times it over here because my th denominator 3 got sent away. So I distributed the negative 3, got negative 3x minus 6y equals positive 4. So then I just added this equation to that equation, and I ended up with negative y equals 1. So now I know that y equals negative 1. So what I did here is I went back up here, and I pulled out the y, and I put in what y equaled. So y equals negative 1, 
Now I have an equation with just one variable, and I can solve an equation with one variable. And so then I just added 5 to both sides, then I divided by 3, and x is 3 halves. And then I plugged it back into this equation.